So in this course, we're going to be covering how you can become more proficient and more confident at reading Python code. Now, this isn't a Python class. I'm not here to teach you Python syntax. This is more of getting you to a comfortable state so that whenever you start pulling code from other developers or other repositories, you'll feel confident in that you can read through this code. You'll be able to understand what's going on at least at a high level so that you can start editing it you can start making changes and also so that whenever you run into errors you'll have a better way of prompting chat gpt so that you can come to a solution faster so if you're a beginner python programmer if you're not a developer if you've never touched a line of code i definitely recommend that you watch this series because again this is going to be tailored at getting you to a point where you can comfortably browse through the file and search through the logic that you either want to modify or copy to use in other projects. Because believe me, I understand that even if you're doing a project with a tutorial, I know that opening a project like this and just seeing hundreds of lines of code, that can get pretty overwhelming pretty quickly. And by the way, this project that we're gonna be using is actually a CreAI project that wasn't developed by me. It was actually made by one of the members of my school community. And also this person wasn't a developer. They didn't have a heavy background in programming. We're using AI tools such as ChatGPT as a coding assistant and watching mm -hmm. tutorials and making other projects from YouTube. They were able to put together this awesome project. So if you wanna meet and collaborate with other individuals like that, I definitely recommend that you join my school community. I'm gonna leave the link in the description. And full disclosure, these sets of videos are gonna be a little bit shorter. I'm not trying to get you to memorize Python syntax. I wanna be able to show you how to do a thing and get you to a point where you learn it well enough to just do it on your own. Because really at the end of the day, the way you're gonna get good at reading code is gonna be by doing that, just reading more and more code. But also I understand it's pretty easy to just copy and paste into ChatGPT and more often than not get a pretty good result. But I'm sure you've all realized by now that doesn't always work. And when it's not working, it can definitely be frustrating because you feel like you don't really know where to go from there. So by the end of the series, you'll feel more comfortable reading Python code, navigating through Python code based projects. And if you decide you want to learn Python in depth or get into machine learning or whatever by taking another course or going back to school, and good for you but right now the goal is to get you comfortable reading python even though you're still pretty uncomfortable reading python thank you guys so much for watching i'm really excited to continue helping you on your ai journey so i'll see you in the next one